Hi, I'm Naridan Sarah, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about mesh reproduction. <laughs> so, we will do something like this with all these animations. It will have some particle on it with the skin color, right? You can do a lot of cool things with it. I'm gonna show you the way, and you should decide what you wanna do with it. You wanna create fire off of this character, you wanna make it like ghost, or whatever you wanna do, you can do it this way. So, without any further ado, let's begin. So, first of all, first of all I wanna thank my Patreon supporters for helping me creating these videos thank you very much and second i should tell you that this video is a part of video series about just niagara system right so in this video let's just create a niagara system a niagara particle emitter so we can uh, spawn some particle on our character okay right now what we have is this our character can hold another gun it can jump like this it can go to left it can go there it can do it like this it can strafe right so and if we hit a it will wave right this character is a part of uh video series about animations okay so if you want to know more about animation just watch that video first of all right click create a niagara system i want to create it off of this create a empty system so we start from scratch i want to call it ns for niagara system after that i want to call it dragon okay or whatever you want to call it just open it i will put it in here no no in here i want to close these parameters we don't need it for no right click in here add an emitter i want to put an empty one in here right first of all like always we add a spawner right click in here and choose a spawn rate or whatever you want to use in here and add a value like 10,000 in here so it will create 10,000 particle in here right so next thing the key thing in this video is to go here and search for production mesh initialize mesh reproduction sprite click on it and it will tell you choose a preview mesh in here and I want to choose our dragon okay that we always use and it you can see it will spawn our particles on our dragon right and with that <laughs> we are finished right so let's just open up our character our character is in here in game mode in our dragon character right so let's just put it over here and in here i want to go to viewport and in here you can see we have our dragon with some animation if we add niagara particle system to here okay i don't want to change the name i can choose a Niagara system to, to add to this character let's just choose one and the one that I did create is NS dragon right so now you can see our particle is spawning on our dragon let's just compile it and save it and run our game to see how it looked like and you can see right it is spawned on our dragon first of all what I'm gonna do let's just go to initialize particle I want to change this well, life of that to for example one second okay one second is more than enough let's just again run and you can see no we are a spawning particle on our character so we can do a lot of cool things with this but first of all we need the colors of our dragons because right now it is white and it's not good for us but with just this white particle we can do a lot of things so for example if we go out this color mode in initialize particle we can set the color in here for example let's just go to red um, for red, I want to overdrive it to 100, and all of them I want it to be zero, right? Hit OK, and now if you again run our game, you can see all the particles on it, and it looks beautiful, right? So after that, we can just add some velocity, for example, to it. Add velocity, and in here fix the issue so it will add salt, for, salt force and velocity. And in here, I want to change this to, for example, 20, okay? Save it, and let's just go here and run our and now you can see it look beautiful right <laughs> if we jump you can create a lot of cool stuff with that but i don't want to use this color in here i don't want to set the color like this i want to use the colors of our dragon right and if you want these particles to stay on your character you can just first of all disable this disable or delete this add velocity we don't need this self velocity it, it will stay but if we save it and again run it in here you can see when we move it will change and you can see it right now for not changing the position of particle we can go to particle update and in update tell it to um mesh reproduction what was it yeah update mesh repro uh, reproduction sprite okay and with that we should set a preview mesh okay and now if we save and go here it doesn't matter how much we move it won't come off right it will stay there and again with that we can do a lot of cool things 
like again go here and change the color to red for example save it and in here you can see it look beautiful right we can do a lot of cool stuff with this so let's say we want to increase the amount of particles let's just go to a spawn rate and add a zero in here right so no you can see because we already derived the color it will glow it will be like a like light right it will glow and you can see it and you can add a light renderer as well i don't want to do that let's just again bring this back because we are at the cpu we can't increase it enough so if you go to property in here and change it to gpu and after that click on this fixed bound okay and if we save it and let's just again go to a spawn rate and add that zero back and save it and go here no it will work better you can see it look beautiful if you want to create a ghost for example we can go here for example change the color to something darker i think i think this is a ghost right this is more like a ghost and if we go here because um our mesh is in here we can't see our ghost but we can do something about that in our character you can see our particle is spawning there but we can see it clearly so in our mesh we can hide it right so for hiding that in here i want to create a material i want to call it m for material i want to call it height okay so double click on it to open it and in here hold four on your keyboard and create this one with left click and go click on your material and change this blend mode to mask so we have access to opacity mask if you don't know about material i did create a full playlist of video just about material you can watch that let's just connect it to opacity mask and with that it should hide everything right let's just come shader be compiled and let's save it so you can see it's it's a simple one so if you click on over mesh no go where is it in rendering go down in override materials add a material in here and override it with over one or own this height and if we compile and save it shouldn't show anything just i think it should just show the particles when the shader is compiled of course no you can see that we have our ghost right so let's just go to our game it should have all the animations you can see it has all the animation it can jump it can strafe right everything is cool and no let's just again go back here i don't want to do something like that of course you should decide what you want to do i want to delete this override material i want to use its own material and no i want to spawn all these particles with a skin color right so for doing that we should use the materials of our dragon and our dragon material is in, in this so let's just copy it here i want to copy it so in here we have our dragon material hit f2 on it i want to change it to m dragon for material of our dragon double click on it and you can see it just have some textures if your material is not like this I, I did create a video just about that how you can create all of these textures how you can uv unwrap it in just one click right so one thing that you should do in here to get all the colors you should right click in search for niagara mesh reproduction sprite uv so this is just a function that uh, niagara developers gives us and what we should do we should just connect all of these to uvs of our textures right so everything should be cool with that let's just save it and now if we go back here in a sprite renderer we want to change this to m dragon okay right now it's it not giving us a right color you can see it just make sure this color mode is not set so click on set and you can see no it give us the color of our dragon right just save it and now if you go here all the particles has the color of our uh, dragon right again we can go to character and change that uh change override the material and we will see just the uh the ghost for example right no i want to add some velocity for adding those velocity i want to delete this update mesh and for example let's just add a velocity in here um fix issue like before no if we save it and run our game you can see it there is a lot of particle spawning from our character and if we jump you can see it if we change the the pose of our character if we wave <laughs> So let's just make it a little bit better. For example, in initialized particle, I want to change the size of the sprite to um, random uniform. Okay. So from 0.2 to 1, I want a, a random value between 0.2 and 1. Okay. Let's just save it. And I think this time should look better. And nope. Let's just again in here. I want to go in particle update and in here search for a scale search for a scale a sprite size and exactly I want to be different than this I want to at the start of the life of our particle I want it to have a full 
size and at the end i want it to be zero like this right so at the end it should be like this you can see the particle first start big and at the end it is bigger no if we jump you can see if we go left go right all the animation is working fine and no let's just add the curl noise why not right so add the curl noise i want to click in here at 10 for example to here the strength let let's just the shader compile itself and and we can change the strength in here to for example 50 and change the frequency to 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 just change it until you reach a value that you want just play with that and i'm sure that you get a little something cool and you can see it's cool right we can jump we can go to left go to right and all of that and again if you go to our character click on mesh and override the material in render and in override material in here we can search for the height material that we just create and no, if you compile and go to our game, no, it's more like a ghost, right? <laughs> Let's just decrease the amount of particles like this. And it should be more like a ghost, right? You can do a lot of cool things with it. I did show you a lot of uh, options with this reproduction mesh. And I think you will get a lot better things than me. But just play with that. You can play with a lot of things in here. For example, they adding drag, adding curve noise and make it a little bit... Uh, more wobbly and all of that you can do a lot of cool things with it and i hope you like this video please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye